All right, guys, Mr. Mathwiz here, lesson three, part two. So in part one, I told you guys about sales tax and how to calculate it um, and how to put it into your equation um, when you want to figure out the final total. So today we're going to talk about income tax, which is a similar idea, but this time they're taking away money. So income tax, the amount of income tax can vary a lot depending on how much money you make. Uh, people who make more money tend to have a larger percentage taken. Uh, it's really common to see about 15%, um, uh, sometimes 20. I've seen it as high as 25 or 30. Um, it's pretty pretty high sometimes. So the way that works is, let's say, let me let's use some examples. Um, oh, where's my pen at? I lost my pen. All right. Oh, there it is. Okay. So let's say we'll start with blue. All right. So let's say that you're getting taxed 17%, which is fairly common. So let's say you're getting taxed 17% and then you make $2,000. Well, unfortunately, you're not going to take $2,000 home with you because the government's going to take some of that. They're going to take that 17% of that. So you want to know how much money am I actually going to take home? So you could do it with a proportion, 17 over 100, because every percentage is written over 100, equals something over 2,000. Because 2,000 is your original amount, that's your whole. It equals the 100%. So to figure it out that way, we would do x equals, we'd multiply our opposite corners, 17 times 2,000 divide that by 100 and then that would give us 17 times 2000 divided by 100 that would give us $340 $340 so what does the $340 represent well, in this case the $340 represents the 17% right because they were on the same row together so that's not how much money you take home. That's how much money the government takes. So you want to know how much money am I actually going to take home? Well, you'd have to take the $2,000, the original, and you'd have to subtract the 340 which would give you zero. That'd be a six. If you're borrowing, that becomes a nine and a one. Nine minus three becomes six. So $1,660 is what you would be taking home. All right, so that's how you do it with proportions. You could also do it with our equation. So 17% 17 of 2,000. We have to turn the 17 into a decimal, which means we're moving that decimal point two places. It becomes 0.17. So 0.17 times 2,000, because we're doing our percent as a decimal times the whole equals the part equation. So that would give us 0.17 times 2,340, just like before, which means $340. And then to figure out how much you're taking home, once again, you do 2,000, subtract 340, give us our 6 because we have to borrow some stuff. That becomes a 9, that becomes a 1. $1,660, same as before, right? So this is how you would do this problem based on what we've learned in lessons one and two. Now from part one of this lesson, you know that we can also probably just change our original percentage to make it match, right? So just like in lesson one, when we were doing the stuff over 100%, we took 100 and we added the percent that we we're dealing with. Well, in this case, we would take the 100 and we would subtract. So does this save you time? Maybe. Depends on, it depends on you. Depends, you know, whether you prefer to do your subtraction at the beginning of the problem or at the end of the problem. Because on both of these, we had to take 2,000 and subtract 340. Well, if you do it at the beginning of the problem, it would look like this. We would take our 100, because 100% is the original value, right? That's how much money you had before taxes. You have 100% of your money because nobody's taking any of it, right? And we're subtracting 17%. So when you do this, that gives you 3 there. And this becomes a 9, and that goes away. 
So you're left with 83%. So 83% is how much of the money you actually get to keep. So no matter how much money you make, you keep being 83% of it. So to figure out it now, we would take our 83 over 100 if you do it with the proportions. And you're equaling your original amount of 2,000. And we don't know what the amount you're taking home is, but that's going to be our x. So now we're taking x equals, multiplying our opposite, 83 times 2,000, and dividing our 100, because we're multiplying opposites and dividing the leftover piece just like before. So that gives us 83 times 2,000 divided by 100, 1,660. 1,000. 660, which is the dollars, and that's the amount you take home. Same answer we got up here, same answer we got over here. So the only real difference is that instead of subtracting 340 from 2,000, we never even saw that 340, right? Because we did our subtraction early on. We subtracted right here when we took 100 and subtracted 17 to get 83%. So which of these do you prefer? It's really up to you, right? Down here on the bottom, we never saw how much money the government actually took. So we didn't see the 340. If you want to know how much money the government actually took, that these ways might be better for you, right? Because you actually get to see that they took $340. Down here, all you're left with is the total. So as before, you can do it with proportions or you can do it with an equation. So same idea. We would do it with the equation. I'm going to do, go green this time. So I'm taking 83% of 2,000 which means I'm moving my decimal point twice to get 0.83. And this time I'm multiplying 0.83 by 2,000, and that should give me the amount of money I'm actually taking home from my job. So 2,000 times 0.83 equals 1660, or 1,600. And $60. Same answer as before in all those scenarios. So once again, there's four different ways you can solve the same problem, but lesson three is really all about these bottom two ways. Um, adding, so in the beginning of lesson three, we talked about adding to 100. Second half of lesson three, we're talking about subtracting from 100 to get our new percentages, which helps us to solve the problem more efficiently, or so it would seem because we don't have to do anything to our answer. Our final answer is our correct answer. You don't have to subtract or add anything to it. That's the benefit here. All right, hope you found that helpful, guys. And I will post lesson four later, because we'll be starting that next week. All right, bye.